Coach, it's my pleasure again to introduce one of our two head coaches over here who's not a stranger to the Sun Bowl. He was here in 2018. He is currently in his eighth year at, uh, at the University of Pittsburgh, and we couldn't be happier to have them and Coach Narduzzi. We think he uh, can consider him a friend now. Uh, and again, he's not, a, he, he's not a stranger, and I'll just leave it at that, and I'll introduce him. Uh, uh, let him. Let him talk. It's about him, not about us, or not about me. Coach Pat? Appreciate it. Thanks, Bernie. Really appreciate you again. More than a friend, more than a friend. Uh, you know, we see each other once a year, whether we're in this bowl game or not. Maybe twice a year uh, at every different event, ACC Media Day. So uh, it is is it's my pleasure and our team's pleasure to be here at the uh, Sun Bowl, uh, the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Um, you know, our kids are excited. They've had a great week uh, from the troops, and you know, I just got back from Children's Hospital, so I apologize for being a few minutes late. Uh, but we've had a terrific time. The weather's been outstanding. Yesterday was probably the the, the most average day, but it's beautiful today, and uh, we're looking forward to a great game tomorrow at noon. Questions? Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, it's been it's uh, it's been great. I mean, uh, I think it was East Eastmore High School. Is that Eastwood. Eastwood High School? Uh, Eastwood High School been been outstanding. Uh, a lot of their coaches were out of practices. Um, you know, our kids were energetic. Uh, again, the facilities were terrific, and um, it was it was beautiful. I mean, we had everything we needed there. Uh, the hospitality's been great, and and our our players are prepared. We're ready to go, and, and excited to see what we can put on the field tomorrow at noon. Yeah, that's a great question. I don't have a number fact on you, but I would, I would guess maybe 10 of them uh, were here in, in 2018 for the, for the Sun Bowl versus Stanford. Um, so I would say probably 10 of them. And, and really, you know, I think you know, five years ago, they forgot a lot of what was happening. And um, so I don't know how much that's helped us uh, through the preparation. Um, but you know, our kids, our kids are they're, they're eager and, uh, and, and smart guys. They got it all figured out, and they've had a great time. Yeah, I mean the the difference from what we, between what we had, you know, most of the season uh, with Keaton and what we've got with Nick Patty, uh, you got a guy that's a little bit more elusive. Uh, he's an athlete. Uh, he he'll he'll scramble. Um, if you if you just put on the second series of of the Peach Bowl a year ago where he scrambles for a touchdown, it, that's what he brings to the table. He's going to have a little bit more escapability. He won't be kind of a lame duck in the pocket, so say. Um, so he he brings that to you. Uh, he's got a great arm and he's a competitor and. Uh, and I know the guys in the huddle, the other 10 guys will play their tails off for Nick Patty when, uh, when he's in there. Pat, there's been some speculation, and nobody really knows about UCLA's offense. How do you go about preparing for two You know what, uh, we've done that before. Uh, in fact, the last game of the season, we, you know, we didn't know if uh, TV was going to play or not, Tyler Van Dyke. Um, so um, it's the same thing. Um, you know, we're, not, we're not worried about it. We're, you know, we're preparing for their starters. And if, uh, if they're not in there, it'll probably be a little bit easier. Um, but um, you know they got great players, you know starters, backups. It doesn't matter. So this one I think is a little bit easier than it was at Miami, not knowing uh, in that final game of the season. Uh, so you know their quarterback, their quarterback is athletic. He can run, and, and we'll we'll figure it out. They got great players. What do your spies tell you? I wish I had spies. I don't have any spies. <laughs> Chip was my best spy, Jerry. I was talking to him last night. He didn't give me any scoop. So um, no scoop. I wish I had some scoop, but they they kept it pretty tight over there, which. Doesn't matter to us. We, we left ours pretty open and let our kids make their decisions and put it out there. You know what? Uh, you know they got one of the best rush attacks in the country, and, and we've got one of the best run defenses in the country. And I think we're, you know we're pretty much built for stopping the run. So this will be a battle of, of the run game for sure. You know with their, their rush offense. So that'll be you know interesting. Obviously we don't have all our weapons on defense. So um, but I think structurally we're. If our guys do what they're supposed to do and, and hang in there, that we, we'll be okay. But um, you know, we face a, a lot of good rushing attacks in the ACC. Um, you know, probably one of the leading rushers, and you know, maybe EJ can help me out. But you know, the, the Tucker kid from Syracuse has always been pretty good uh, rushing the football in the last two years. You know, we, we've we've held them in, in check pretty much, and um, it hasn't been an easy day. It will not be an easy day on any running back, I would guess. Um, hope hope. You know what uh, you're, you're talking about? 
a band of Canada not being uh, at tailback. Yeah, you know, we'll obviously miss Izzy, uh, who declared for the draft and uh, is moving on to the next level. Um, but, uh, you know, Rodney Hammond and Vince Davis will be the two guys that we can't carry most of the reps there. And those guys have played a lot of football. Um, Rodney probably would have played a lot more this year had he not got hurt early in the season. Um, you know, he's a guy that, you know, there's a lot of people thought maybe he was the better back in the backfield. So we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, Nick's a Nick's a pit man. Um, he's he's uh, he's one of those loyal guys, and, and and loyalty. I mean, I think about the word loyalty. There's not a whole lot of loyalty in, in this world uh, anymore in college football, pro football. Doesn't matter. Maybe you know, in, in everybody's profession. So to me, loyalty's big. And, and Nick has been one of those guys that's been loyal, uh, you know, to this program. We're going to be loyal to Nick, and uh, you know, Nick Nick is an athlete, and the, the guys will play from there. I think they're excited to play um, with him in that huddle. Coach, each season a team takes on. Oh, Larry, you asked me the hardest questions. Uh, um, you know, resilient. I mean, you think about where we were. We were a four and four football team, you know, midseason, and and uh, and I would say they're a team that's together. Um, but you know, nothing nothing was going to stop those guys. And to win the final four games, you know, of the season, and and uh, with that win streak, and you know, trying to put you know number five on there, you know, going one and zero in December. Uh, that's what I'd say. I mean, we just got a team that's going to go out and play. They love to play the game. And we, you know, I love our football team. We've got great kids that are fun to coach. They've, they've been great down here. There's been no problems with bed check or anything like that. We'd like, we've got a good football team. And, um, you know, the, the kids are playing with the, the staff's families, playing cards and just hanging out in the, in the hotel. It's just, it's, you know, that's kind of who we have here. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure to coach them. Yeah, I mean, we've known each other way, way back. Um, you know, he's a New Hampshire grad. I'm a Rhode Island grad. He was the uh, offensive coordinator at New Hampshire. I was the defensive coordinator at the time at uh, the University of Rhode Island. So uh, we faced each other way, way, way back. Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, I told him the other day he had better players than we did. Um, you know, he had, you know, Jerry Azuma was their tailback. It, it, you know, for me to remember, you know, running back's name, played for the Chicago Bears for a long time. They had a fullback named uh, Kreider. Uh, that played for the Steelers for a long time. So, I mean, they were a good football team. He did a fantastic job, and, and uh, it's easy to see why he's where he is today. Pat, what do you make about this offense? I mean, obviously you see, but it's based on the teams that have to play with Temple, but what do you make about this? Yeah, um, you know, Chip, Chip's got a great offensive mind. He's going to, you know, he's going to change things up. Uh, you know, he'll, he, will, he will scheme you up. There's going to be, you know, a lot of, you know, angle blocks up front. Uh, I could see him splitting out. You know, I mean, if you – Probably a great place to sit would be in the end zone just to watch and see what their splits look like. I can imagine them doing some split split things with us, uh, just trying to open up gaps and you know blocking down on a nose and wrapping a center around. I mean, they'll do some different things like that. I think that we got to be prepared for. They do some unbalanced stuff, but he'll he's he's just got one of those minds that he's gonna he's gonna come out with something different that we have not prepared for. And I could say that every week, but that's a guarantee, especially with the time he's had, that you know he likes to scheme you up and he likes to have that marker last. Compare between snaps, gun tempo, and Tennessee. Yeah, they're not as fast as Tennessee. I, you know, I think we had them. They're average about 23 seconds. Uh, if they get a first down, they'll go faster, uh, Jerry. Um, you know, and then you know you'll see them if they have success with a play, they're going to come right back and they're going to run it again, uh, and then they'll run it again if it, you know if you can't stop it. So, um, you know, but the tempo is not blazing fast, uh, but there'll be series where they'll go two or three plays and snap it between 7 and 12 seconds as well. But Tennessee's going at that rate all the time. So we're prepared for the tempo. Um, so we should, that should not be a big problem. Right. We've discussed this year about the depth on your defensive line, and there were some opportunities for some guys in this game. Who, who have you noticed or think is ready to you know, bust out or you know, take advantage of their opportunities? Yeah. Um, you know, again, obviously inside, you know, we're pretty old in there. Uh, but, you know, Dayon Hayes is a guy that, you know, started to, you know, repped at Miami with three sacks. So, um, you know, he'll be the, the leader out there. We're still expecting Haba to possibly play. Um, you know, he's still day to day. Um, uh, so, you know, he's not a young guy. Uh, Sam Okaluna uh, is a guy that, uh, you know, we're expecting big things. Uh, I don't even know what number is he, 17? I don't even know what number he is. 17. Uh, he played a little bit at the end of the Miami game, but he's a talented guy. He's going to be a star uh, in a pit uniform in the future. And it's going to be fun to go watch him. Uh, play as well. Yeah, 
You know, it would mean a lot. I mean, I think, you know, we've talked about that with our team um, yesterday, I believe. You know, just understand how big just going one to know this week would uh, would be, you know, for their legacy. You know, those guys that, you know, uh, went out and played and, and won an ACC championship a year ago and then to go ahead and stack nine wins the next year. Um, it, it's, it's quite an accomplishment. And I think it's, it's, you know, it's great for our program if we can get that done. You know, we've had a heck of a year regardless. Uh, we're playing, you know, really good UCLA, number 18th ranked in the country. Uh, so it's, it's an opportunity to, you know, finish in the top 25 as well if we beat them. Now I didn't get season tickets yet, but I'm, I'm I'm guessing just by fate, you know, we'll probably play them in the tournament this year. I think you know our basketball team's gotten a lot better, um, but no, we've still not caught up yet. You know, he's busy. I know he's got a game tonight. Uh, we got a game tomorrow, and uh, I'm probably catch up with him after the after the game's over and really have a great conversation with him. But uh, I just know from the voicemail he left me, the long voicemail he left me, that he was busy, and I wasn't going to mess up on how it is to be a coach. We exchanged our voicemails, and we're good. You know, we were just watching, you know, practice tape the other day talking about Tyler, how uh, impressive he's been, like what a get that was, you know. Um, you know, just playing linebacker for us, you know, playing really to the field or to the boundary. He's been a, he's been an excellent uh, addition, you know, one double A addition, FCS addition. Um, you know, we were just talking about like, you know, it doesn't matter where these guys come from. It's, you know, us identifying who we like. They don't have to come from Alabama or, you know, uh, any other program. It's just like picking the best players that fit what we do and what we need. And Tyler's been outstanding. He's He's got energy. He's, you know, he's fun to coach. Uh, he's got a lot of ability and, and uh, it'll be fun to watch him play his last game in a pit uniform. Any more questions? Thank you very much, Coach. Appreciate Everybody it. good? Sure. <laughs> going once, going twice. Thank you, Bernie, coach. it's all yours, bro. Hey, thank you, Coach.